Hello and welcome to Ontario G1 practice test. In this video, we will go over all the question and answer from the Ontario knowledge written driving test. We will be practicing on our website canadianpracticetest.com. This link is included in the description. So let's get started. Okay, let's start Ontario rule test number one. Let's start the quiz and our first question is where there are no posted speed limits the maximum speed in cities towns and villages are uh, they are almost 50 km per hour option d is the correct answer next question question number two when lights are required drivers are required to switch to low beam headlights the correct answer is within 150 meter of an oncoming vehicle option d is the correct one Next question, question number three. By law, you must report any collision to the police when there are injuries or damages to the vehicle or other property exceeding exceeding more than $2,000. Option C is the correct answer. Next question, question number four. A flashing green lights are intersection where turns to the left and right are permitted indicates they indicates you may turn to the left if the way is clear uh, it's also correct you may proceed straight through if they if the way is clear second option is also correct and our last uh, option is you may turn to the right if the way is clear a b and d option these three all are correct so you can select any one of them and our next question is question number five threshold braking means threshold braking means uh, you use all the braking force available without lacking the wheels option d is the correct one next question question number six a read signals light with the green arrow is shown at an intersection indicates it actually indicates that proceed with the caution in the direction of the arrow the correct answer is proceed with the caution in the direction of the arrow next question Question number seven. Most kids are the result of uh, most kids are the result of acceleration too quickly. It's also correct. Driving too fast. Uh, this one is also correct. And the hard braking. Option A, B, and D. These three options are correct. So you can select any one of them. And we are choosing this last option. Next question. Question number eight. If a traffic signal changes while a pedestrian is still on the street, which of the following has the right of the way? The right of the way is for the pedestrians. Option C is the correct one. Next question. Question number nine. When on street designed for two-way traffic, if you hear the siren of the emergency vehicle, what does the law require you to do? The law requires you to pull as far as possible to the right and stop the, your vehicle. Option A is the correct one next question question number 10 if you live in ontario you must be at least dash years old and have a valid ontario driver license to drive in the in this province the correct answer is you must 16 years old option b is the correct one next one option question number 11 while you are driving with a g1 license you must not drive between uh, 9 a.m. and uh, no it's the correct answer is midnight and 5 a.m. option C is the correct one next question question number 12 if you are involved in an accident where injuries or damages exceed dollar 2000 you must report this to your nearest provincial or local police the correct answer is immediately option D is the correct one next question question 13 Question number 13 is if your vehicle becomes disabled on a 400 series highway you should uh, you should pull over uh, activate your emergency flashers and wait for help option D is the correct answer by mistake we have selected the option C but the correct answer is option D which is pull over activate your emergency flashers and wait for help option D is the correct one next question question number 14 never use the cruise control feature the correct answer is on wet slippery snowy or icy surface this is also correct on winding roads it's correct and the next one is in urban traffic option a b and d these all are correct option so you can select any one of them next question 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 इफ योर ब्लड अल्कोहल कंसंट्रेशन इज मोर देन 80 मिलीग्राम्स इन 100 मिलीलीटर्स ऑफ ब्लड देन द करेक्ट आंसर इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज योर लाइसेंस विल बी सस्पेंडेड इमीडिएटली फॉर ऑलमोस्ट 90 डेज 3 मंथ्स ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 A flashing blue light mounted on a motor vehicle indicates what? It indicates no removal equipment. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question 17. When the traffic signal light facing you in red and you intend to go straight through the intersection, what must you to do first? Uh, the correct answer is stop and wait until the light changes to green and intersection is clear before moving through it. option c is the correct option next question question 18 on a roadway where the traffic is moving in both direction in what position must you uh, to do before making a left turn the correct answer is immediately to the right of the center line of the road the correct answer is option d next question question 19 the nearest driver may park to the fire hydrant is the correct answer is 3m option a next question question 20 when entering a freeway you should you should signal and increase your speed to merge smoothly with traffic option a is the correct one next question question 21 what is the driver of a motor vehicle not permitted to carry in a house or boat trailer the correct answer is persons option a next question question number 22 Which of the following has the right of way over all other at an intersection when the light is green? The correct answer is pedestrian crossing with the light. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question 23. Under all condition, you should drive at the speed that will allow you to that will allow you to stop within a safe distance. Option B. Next one. Question number twenty-four. While you are driving with a learner license, an accompanying driver must sit in the front passenger seat. The correct answer is during the hour of darkness. Option A, no. Okay, by mistake we have selected the wrong answer. The correct answer is option B, which is at all times. Next question. Question number twenty-five. At fifteen demerit points, your license will be suspended for thirty days. After the suspension, the number of points on your driver records will be reduced to. It will reduce to seven. Option B. Next question. Question twenty-six. If you are involved in a reportable accident, you must make your report to your nearest provincial or municipal police. The correct answer is. immediately you need to inform immediately uh, next question 27 upon approaching a stop sign what does the law require you to do before entering an intersection the correct answer is stop and when it is safe to do so then proceed option d next question question number 28 a flashing yellow beacon above an intersection the correct answer is warn you to drive with caution option c is the correct answer Next question, question twenty-nine. A licensed driver changes his or her name or address. They must inform the Ministry of Transportation. The correct answer is within six days. Option B. Next question and the last question of this quiz. If you are convicted to careless driving, you will get you will get can be fined up to two thousand. Okay, six demerits points. Your lessons may be suspended. All three options are correct, so we need to select this option number A, which is all of these. And guys, here this quiz is completed.